Now at 11, could gay marriage soon be the law of the land? The high court says it will decide. We just want a voice, so we're happy that they're going to sit down and finally listen. Tonight, same-sex couples in South Florida react to the Supreme Court's big announcement. And the justices will weigh in on a lower court decision that upheld a gay marriage ban in four states. Their decision is due this June. Last week, Florida became the 36th state to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. CBS 4's Carrie Codd joins us live from the Broward County Courthouse with more. Carrie. Erica and Rick, just a few weeks ago, dozens of gay couples descended on the Broward County Courthouse here to exchange wedding vows after same-sex marriage became legal in the state. Tonight, gay couples we spoke with say they're thrilled that another court, the U.S. Supreme Court, will take up this issue and hear arguments this spring and likely rule over the summer. Summer Green and her partner of 27 years, Pamela Farber, hope that the U.S. Supreme Court decides once and for all that same-sex couples have the right to wed anyone they choose anywhere in the United States. It's an issue of justice, and who better to decide that than a court of justices? The high court announced that it would hear arguments this spring on two key issues from four states that ban same-sex marriage, whether gays have the right to marry and whether states that do not recognize same-sex marriage must recognize couples wed in states that do. I am hoping that they will decide as they should that equality is applicable to everyone. Farber believes there needs to be uniformity about the issue across the country. I think it will take away or hopefully maybe take away some of the patchwork marriage issues around the country and bring it all together into one, you know, quilt that's, you know, all put together. Don Johnson and his partner, George Diaz, who, along with Green and Farber, asked a Miami Day judge last year to invalidate the state's ban on gay marriage. He believes the Supreme Court has stood up for gay marriage protections over the past few years and will do so again. It's about whether or not civil rights in the Constitution is upheld. And the Supreme Court says over and over again, we're not about uh, picking sides in anything. We're just looking at whether or not something's constitutional. Opponents of same-sex marriage say they, too, are looking forward to the Supreme Court ruling. They believe marriage should be between a man and a woman. But Summer Green believes the country is ready for same-sex marriage to be legalized across the land. And if you look historically, they've made the right decisions on other issues of equality. I'd like to believe that they'll do the same thing here. Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi has argued against same-sex marriage. She released a statement tonight. It reads, all along I've maintained that the U.S. Supreme Court should decide the same-sex marriage issue in order to provide uniformity in Florida and resolve the legal issue nationwide. I'm pleased that the U.S. Supreme Court will hear the same-sex marriage issue and provide finality on the matter. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News tonight. Kerry, thank you. And